With just a few weeks to the 2023 general election, Ade Inka Ade Dikbe examines the political scenes in Edo State, weighing major senatorial seats, flag bearer strength, and weaknesses, as well as that of their political parties. With the governorship election not taking place in Edo State in 2023, the biggest battle in the state's political space will be among gladiators who are hoping to represent the electorate in the Senate. Already, the standard bearers of the major political parties are campaigning in the hopes of persuading voters to vote for them. From Edo North to Edo Central and Edo South, the campaign train is already moving at high speed with candidates letting the people into their manifestos and showing them what they stand to benefit if they are voted into office. A campaign is a capital intensive endeavor, but the candidates have been wise so far and not throwing money at the voters to gain their support. Time will tell if this money saving technique will remain the same as the election draws near. With the People's Democratic Party PDP in the state yet to close ranks and the acrimony in the party not abating with cases still in court to decide who represents the party at the election, it is clear that the All Progressive Congress and the Labour Party's candidates might become big beneficiaries of the PDP's embroiligo. Presently, candidates loyal to Governor Gordon Obaseki are listed on the INEC website but candidates in the Dan Orbis camp are waiting to take over in the event of a favorable court decision. Whichever camp gets the final nod, the political space in the state will witness a lot of intrigue in the coming days. However, the battle is expected to be intense in Edo North, where two-term governors on the platform of the APC, Adams Oshomole and Senator Francis Ali Mekena, who is and Governor Obaseki's camp are expected to slug it out. Both previously belonged to the APC. In 2014, Oshomole backed Ali Mekena in the APC primaries to beat the then Senator Domingo Ubende. However, Obaseki and Oshomole had irreconcilable differences before the 2020 governorship election in the state, which led to the exit of the former from the APC to the PDP a platform on which he got re-elected as the governor of the state. Ali Mikena, who by now had become a staunch supporter of Obaseki, remained in the APC. After testing the waters, Oshomole declared his intentions to vie for the senatorial ticket in Edo North, which automatically became a threat to the ambition of Ali Mikena, who after a while joined Governor Godwin Obaseki in the PDP after accusing APC party leaders in the Edo North of working against him. At the APC primaries, Ali Mekena was credited with four votes with the aggrieved senator debunking the claim that he took part in the primaries and saying the APC was out to trash him. Oshomole has an advantage over the PDP candidate in the upcoming election because he led his people to victory in five of Edo, not six local governments when Obaseki was elected governor in 2020. The former APC national chairman is a household name and it will take a big change in the political dynamics in Edo North to beat him in the election. Oshomole, who did so much developmental work in Edo North while he was governor, is the favorite in, his, in this contest, while Ali Mekena will be hoping to upset Oshomole despite being the incumbent. The senator will not go down without a fight, and his men are also drumming up support for him to ensure he returns to the Green Chamber. The seventh senator will fancy his chances of returning to the Senate, but he will come up against a political heavyweight, Oshomole, in the contest, while Pasca Ogbome, who belongs to Obi's faction, cannot be ruled out as he awaits verdict in some pending court cases. Anselm Aregbe, the Labour Party's flag bearer in the zone, is the dark horse and will have to be at his political best to beat Oshomole, Ali Mekena and Ugome to the ticket. He's consulting and meeting with people at the grassroots in the hope that he can win their votes. He should also be able to ride on the obedient movement, which is spreading like wildfire. Whatever the outcome of the election is, 
this will be a good testing ground for a rugby. In the Edo South, Matthew Idiorinye Kenwe of the PDP, who is in the governor's camp and the party's candidate as of today, seems to be making the biggest impact on the campaign train. He's always meeting people in his constituency, both at his residence and the campaign train. He visits wards and local government to see the voters. He's not waiting for court decisions before selling his candidature to the people of the constituency. He has been a PDP member since its inception and was a majority leader in the Edo State House of Assembly. He was also an NDDC commissioner representing Edo State. He defeated incumbent Matthew Urugide in a close contest in the primary election while the other primary done by Obi's faction threw up Omorege Ubede Hammer, who close associates say is waiting for the final court judgment before embarking on campaigning. Oil Mogu Valentine Aswen holds the APC ticket. He defeated a former deputy governor of the state, Loki Imwasu, in the primaries. He is new on the political turf and he has conducted his campaign in a manner that leaves associates and opponents alike wondering what he has up to his sleeves. However, Aswen has been able to endear himself to people at the grassroots. He's, he also has the strong backing of the youth leader of the party, Tony Adun, who is a strong mobilizer. However, the LP candidate, Neda Emerson, cannot be counted out. Emerson was between 2014 and 2015 the legislative consultant for the World Bank project, which collaborated with C4, Asaba, and Delta states in the development of the single treasury account policy. He's hoping that the ideology of change will win him the election. However, he has a big battle in his hands if he hopes to win the election and will surely need to go beyond the change mantra to coast to victory. What is certain is that an imminent battle is on the offing in this zone. Edo Central APC candidate Monday Okweho Lu is new to the political tough, but he has always helped his constituency while he was in the private sector. He's not fidgeting over the fact that he's new, as he hopes to beat seasoned campaigners in the election. He can be described as the Edo Central's Mr. Infrastructure, as he hopes to carry out projects that will have an impact on the lives of the people if he gets elected. He's passionate about providing clean water and road infrastructure to the people. He says these are some of the things that propelled him into running for the Senate under the platform of the APC. Incumbent PDP Senator Clifford Odia, who is in the Obaseki's camp, is seeking a second term in the Halo Chamber in Edo Central. He was a proven businessman in Port Harcourt in 2014, when he came to seek an elective post in Edo, he won, served his term, and his people gave him another four years in 2019. He's seeking another term in the Senate. But that ambition may be halted by the internal wrangling in the party, as Ak Mike Onolime, who won the primaries in the other faction, is also waiting to take over in case the court gives his camp the nod to do so. The LP candidate Chris Omofowa completes the list of prominent candidates seeking election to the Senate.